Oh, ooh, cool mittens. I mean, it is cold down here, but I think you're being a little overdramatic. Um, and you're in my spot, by the way. You've seen them, the famous Bernie mittens. I've been wanting to make some upcycled mittens for a long time, and this reminded me. So I ran to the thrift store to grab some sweaters that I could cut up. You can work with any old sweater, but ones made of wool will be a lot easier because they won't unravel as much. I picked two sweaters I thought go well together and I'm using some sweatshirt fleece for the lining. Grab your pattern. I'll link where I got mine in the description below. I'm gonna work on the cuff first. You can use the existing cuff off of one of the sweaters, but this one had a slit and the other sweater was a little too big. So you can use the bottom of the sweater. Cut off four inches from either the cuff or the bottom. I did this first to make sure I had enough fabric. Then I removed this little tag. I like the front pattern on the gray sweater, so I'll use that for the top of another pair of mittens. That's why I'm cutting the sides open, so I can work with just the back for now. I doubled over the fabric because you want two pieces for each pattern. This way, when you cut it out, you'll have a right and a left of each pattern piece. Go ahead and cut out all the pieces you will need. Remember you will need a right and a left for each pattern piece. It may be a little hard to see on camera, but there is a right and wrong side to the sweaters. You'll want to make sure you know which is which. Mark with a pin on the right side if you want. Cut out all the same pieces for the lining fabric. You can use an old sweatshirt for this. I'm using the leftover sweatshirt fleece from that sweatshirt tutorial I was working on in November, and then I never finished. It's coming guys, I swear. Keep track of the right and wrong side of this as well. Piece one is where the fingers go and piece two is for the thumb. Lay piece two right side together with piece one, matching up the thumbs. Then I'm going to mark where the dots are on the pattern. Put some pins to help you see it better. Sew from pin to pin creating the palm and thumb section. Do this for the lining as well as the sweater pieces. I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. Go slow around the thumb because it's a tight curve. It can be a little tricky to sew the sweater material. You may have to help it along. Upcycle mittens are not new, but the recent Bernie meme has made them super popular. Bernie's mittens have a really cute backstory. They were actually handmade by a teacher in Vermont and then given to him. I'll link an article below if you want to learn more about them. Trim down the seams to an eighth inch. Be careful not to cut into the stitches. Open up the flap where the fingers will go and lay piece three right side together.
can see the thumb piece will be on the outside of this. Do this for the lining as well. Pin and sew together with a quarter inch seam allowance, making sure to smush the thumb piece out of the way. Trim down the seam allowance to an eighth of an inch. This will help the curved areas lay flatter. Flip the sweater fabric right side out and push out the thumb. Put the lining on your hand and slip it into the outer mitten. They will be wrong sides together. This way, all the seams are hidden inside. For the cuff, take that strip that we cut off and trim it to 4 inches by 8 inches. You will need two of these if you're not using the cuff of the sweater. Fold the strips right side together and stitch a line down the short edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip that right side out and stuff it into the mitten with the finished edge first. All the raw edges will be together at the opening. Make sure all the seams line up. Just finagle it around until it's smooth. Pin everything in place and sew it all together with a quarter inch seam allowance. This is the trickiest part because it's so small and it's pretty thick. Just keep smoothing out the fabric as you're sewing along. had a slight heart attack with this step. My God, 
What the f is happening? broken needle isn't inside the mitten and then flip the cuff to the outside. If you want, you can hand stitch the top of the cuff to the mitten to hold it in place. That's it! Now stay snugly warm with your own awesome upcycled mittens. <laughs>